Welcome to How To Magic Live. I am your host, Evan Era. That is the Magic Mouth Coil Illusion. And I will show you the secret to this and 10 other amazing magic tricks coming up in the next hour. So welcome to the live stream. Leave me a comment. Let me know where it is you're watching from. I'm here in my hometown of Louisville, Kentucky, a little suburb of Louisville called Crestwood. Welcome to the live stream. I'm gonna let some people file in here. Thank you for tuning into the show. I am your host, Evan Era. Let me know where you're watching from in the world. I want to know. Leave it in the comments. And uh, let's in, I want to know who the furthest person away is. Probably somebody in Australia, if I had to bet. It's been a while since we've been back in Sydney. So the first trick I want to show you, other than the magic paper mouth coil to start things off, I have a new trick from the Evan Era TV shop, EvanEraTV.com. So we have two sponge balls ordinary sponge balls a red and a white we take the red and the white we squeeze them together and look what happens it looks like they merge and fuse together and form into a magic foam dice amazing right before your eyes if you want to know the secret to that stay tuned for the second half of the live stream, at about the 30 minute mark, we're going to be revealing all of these tricks. If you haven't seen this one yet, you'll learn the secret by the end of this video, along with nine other tricks, nine other tricks. This one's available now, the product's tagged on this live stream if you wanna get yourself one, okay? So that is the magic balls to dice trick. If you buy one, you'll automatically learn the secret because you'll own it. But if you just want to stick around and learn the secret for free, I got you. Stay tuned for the 30 minute mark of this video. So our next one here is a really cool trick. This one's been going viral online. Let me make sure this thing's set up right before we go any further. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, this is the magic color changing drink trick. So you guys have probably seen this one blowing up on TikTok or YouTube or Facebook, one of those platforms. Uh, it's been going big for us everywhere. So really simple illusion. And the video that went viral for us kind of showed the secret uh, of how it's done, but it's such a beautiful trick and so easy to do. I thought I would show it to you guys today. You have a drink that you present to the audience that can see it's uh, full of uh, some colored liquid. I think it's red right now. Yeah. We cover it up with a silk scarf like this. We just give it a little rub and the liquid magically changes colors, just like that. Amazing, right? Watch, we'll try this one more time here. Look, cover it once more. Boom, another color change, right? Cover it again, look. It changes color one more time. And then look, the cool part, it was actually just water all along. Cheers. I'll show you the secret to this, explain it in detail at the 30 minute break in this video. So guys, thank you for tuning in. Hit that thumbs up button. Let me know you're there. Let me know you're seeing this live stream. Do we have any comments coming in yet? Great. What do we got? Who's anybody chimed in with where they're from yet? I'd like to know. South Africa. South Africa. That might be the record for our furthest fan. A few from uh, USA. USA, number one. No offense, South Africa, but you know what it is. Macedonia. Macedonia. Wow, that's very cool. I love that we have just people all over the world. That's wild. Um, so this next trick is another new one that's available at EvanEraTV.com. You can pick it up right now. It's a perfect stocking stuffer gift for the holidays. 
I've actually shown this trick probably like five years ago. I showed like maybe a DIY version that you can make, but this is like a professionally made, uh, ready to go gimmick that you can use right out of the box. It's a box of uh, magic crayons. So you can show off the crayons to your audience. Uh, you know, this is great for like a kid's party or something like that. It's also perfect to combine with another trick from our shop, the magic coloring book. So you take the box of crayons, you say, watch, I'm gonna grab the color out of the box, just like that. I grab it in my hand and I can just make it disappear just like that. Then you grab that color and you throw it into the magic coloring book that changes from blank and then the colored in. An amazing effect, blows people's minds. This one is about as easy as a trick could get. So if you wanna learn a really easy one, stay tuned for the secret to this one at the end of the show. I'm also gonna give away a couple tricks to people in the comments. So if you want to win any of the tricks in this video for free, we're throwing it back like it was 2017 right now. If you want to win some free magic tricks, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know which trick was your favorite so far. Was it the magic ball, balls to dice, plural? Was it the magic disappearing crayons? Was it the uh, magic mouth coil? We've only done three tricks so far, but let me know which one was your favorite so far. And if we get to the end of the video and one of the other tricks catches your fancy, let me know that that one was your favorite. And I might pick you to send you that trick for free. You don't even have to go to the shop and buy it yourself. You just win it. It's like magic. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Once again, I really do appreciate the support on this channel. Um, really appreciate the support on the shop too. Supporting small business, really important, um, you know, uh, you can you can throw your money at some big corporations or you can help the little guy and we appreciate the support You're supporting my family. You're supporting uh, everybody who helps make these videos possible uh, And you're help help keeping the magic machine going and spreading it around the world. So I really appreciate you guys Thank you from the bottom of my heart really uh, next up on our list we've got an Amazing trick. I don't think you guys have ever seen this before. I've showed a version of it. So we got a cup here We got some water you pour the water into the cup, right? You guys can see it going in clearly. You've got another cup. You pour the water into that cup, right? You can see it going inside. Now check this out. All we do is give them a little magical gesture like this. Look, when I pour the water back into the other cup, It's gone. It vanishes, just like that. I'll show you the secret of where that water goes after the 30 minute break. Really need you guys to stick around if you wanna learn the secrets. A little bit different format for the live shows. We're gonna be doing a live stream every month for the next three months. So be an hour live stream, a How To Magic Live, just like this. Similar format, we might do a Q and A next month, might do something different in January, but you can expect a live hour-long stream from me here on YouTube this month that we're doing right now. You're in it. Congratulations. The next one will be in December, and then the following one will be in January. So tune in for these lives. It'll be a little bit different format than we do with the standard how-to magic shows, uh, where you normally would get trick and then explanation immediately afterward. With this, you're going to get trick, 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 little break, maybe Q&A, read some comments, then we go back into all the tricks that we did in the first half, and I just explained to you how they're done. A little bit different format to the show. Just wanna mix it up, see how you like it. So let me know what you guys like uh, with this format versus the standard how-to magic format. Do you like waiting for all the secrets to the end, or do you like uh, you know getting them immediately after the trick is done? You let me know. So next up on our list is another product that we have new in the shop which I'm really excited about. This is probably like my favorite new addition to the shop in a long time. This is the Magic Arm Chopper. So you guys have probably seen this one online as well. It is a very, very viral trick. Um, a lot of different influencers, magic, uh, magic influencers out there are using this thing in their videos. Uh, and we are really excited to be able to offer it to you um, for sale. You can get one yourself and uh, make your own viral videos or just add this to your magic set your magic arsenal do it at your shows it really blows people well excuse me it really blows people away um and it's super easy to do so the idea is it's got this hole in it here 
you guys can see. You insert your arm or a viewer's arm, uh, you know, a spectator's arm through the chopper. They can see the metal blade. You can even see it through this little hole right here. And you can see it at the bottom. So it's kind of like an added convincer. They can see the metal blade. You can even use it to like chop vegetables first if you want as like an added convincer. And then very uh, cleanly and openly, you just slide the blade right down through your wrist, just like that. And they can see that your hand and wrist are completely unharmed and that the blade is still very much real, intact, and in place and metal and sharp. If you want to learn the secret, I'm going to reveal it at the end of the show. Stay tuned. That is the Magic Arm Chopper. If you'd like the chance to win the Magic Arm Chopper, it's like, what, a $60 value? I think something like that. Might even be 70 I'm not sure. Available now at EvanEraTV.com. EvanEraTV.com. That's EvanEraTV.com. Also linked here on this video, you can get a Magic Arm Chopper from our YouTube shop. If you want to win one for free, though, just leave a comment. Hit the thumbs up. Show a little love. You know? Where's the love? So, where are you guys watching from? What else we got on there? Let me see. Uh, right now, the chat's chat conversations turn to which is the favorite and there it's pretty mixed on yeah. uh, the crayon the dice i really love her dice trick you know um, another from new york just new york up, that's know. probably our biggest fan meetup ever was in battery park back in 2018 we did a fan meetup in new york city i think it was the first ever fan meetup that we did in the usa and it was huge almost got kicked out of Battery Park. That was awesome. Yeah. And um, Beckley. I'm not sure where Beckley is. Beckley. Where is yeah. Beckley? Uh, That's what's up. Shout out to uh, everybody tuning in to this live stream. I appreciate you guys so much. Thanks for showing love on the channel. We have done like 100 million views on YouTube in the past month. I'm pretty sure that's the most views we've ever done in a single month on YouTube. Uh, we've gained over a hundred thousand new subscribers in the last 28 days. So if you're new to the channel, thanks for being here. Thanks for subscribing. We are on that road to 10 million. We're about to hit 3 million before the end of the year. Huge milestone for the channel. It took me so long, so long to get to a million subscribers. You have no idea. And then the 2 million, it's a little bit faster. And now to 3 million, I can feel that momentum building, you know, I want to get that diamond play button. It's like the creator holy grail. And with your help, I can get there. Share this live stream. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. I don't mind begging. Love you guys. Thanks for all the support. Hope you like the tricks. It's the best I can do. Uh, <laughs> um, Beckley, West Virginia. Is Beckley, where West it, Virginia. That's, not, that's a stone's throw from here, man. Yeah, and uh, speaking of fan meetups, somebody chimed in from England. Oh, cool, man. Yeah, we were in London for a fan meetup, too. I think that's the first fan meetup I ever did was in London, actually. And that was a good turnout. It wasn't nearly as big as New York, but, uh, you know, I get it. You get more love in my home country, uh, which makes sense. Um, we did, actually, the biggest fan meetup we ever had, I think, was in Australia, in Sydney, on the steps of the Sydney Opera House, which I almost overslept for. So that was cool. It's coming off of, like, a 14-hour flight from China. And uh, passed out in the hotel room. Almost overslept that one. Anyway, that brings us to our next trick right here on this uh, secret clipboard. Oh, this is a classic. I think you guys know this one. You might. You might. You might not. I don't know. It's the magic silk scarf. Every magician knows this trick. As soon as you see something start getting stuffed into a fist, I have a little bit different presentation of it. You take the little silk scarf, it goes down in the hand like this. Oh, this fly is gonna help me out for this trick, that's cool. The fly is just misdirection, it's simple misdirection. See how you looked at the fly and you didn't even realize the handkerchief had disappeared. So that's a very easy trick, anyone can do it. Very simple, the hard part is making it reappear in an instant, smoothly and efficiently, just like that. So that trick, super easy to do. Most of you guys probably know how it's done. It's actually the secret to it is linked uh, in the product tags on this video. So you can probably figure it out. Um, would you mind grabbing me the shredder right there? 
there's a fly just buzzing right here if you guys don't mind i'm just going to uh this is youtube this is not real this is a salt cannon for uh dispatching insects there we go thank you there appreciate that i got a little bit of fly got some of that whoopsie daisy okay guys um we're getting close to that 30 minute mark to reveal all the illusions that you have seen so far. I want to know how long you've been watching the show for. I'm always curious to know. We've been doing this show since 2015. I've had a YouTube channel since 2012. Posting all sorts of various things. But I want to know how long have you been watching? How long have you been tuning in? So, uh, that brings me to our next trick here in this Magic Live. The zigzag rope. A fan favorite. This might be our top selling trick of all time at EvanAirTV.com. That's our online shop. If you don't know, get some magic. Perfect for the holidays. This makes a great stocking stuffer. Great uh, Hanukkah gift, you know, uh, depending on what you celebrate. So, you got a rope. You can pass the rope out for inspection. The audience can inspect it till their heart's intent. Okay, they can make a bracelet out of it. They can make a little collar out of it, whatever they want to do. Then they take the rope. They can even feed it into this little case here. And then you can show this off to the audience. It's a very beautiful blue shimmering uh, holographic color thing on there. And then you very uh, plainly and openly just split the rope in twain, just like this. You can even see the cut ends of the rope there. See? So just an amazing illusion because the rope is not actually cut right now. That's the crazy thing. So it looks like it is split right in half. You then just slide this thing back closed. The audience member can then remove this. Spectators can do all the work here. And then, look, no break in the rope whatsoever. The secret is all in this little ditty right here. This is the Magic Zigzag Rope, a fan favorite at EvanAirTV.com. Really great trick. Super easy to do. It's pretty much self-working. And I'll explain to you exactly the mechanics of how this is done in just a moment. Okay. Uh, it's a lot of people from uh, watching since two, 2016. 2016, yeah. That's when the show really took off. And then, uh, But uh, a lot also in the last two years. Last two years? That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, that's when they started up. That's uh, crazy. Yeah. Maybe during pandemic or... Yeah. You guys got a lot of back catalog to go through. Oh, yeah. We've been making videos for a while. Yeah. Shout out from Wisconsin. So you know. Milwaukee, Wisconsin? What part uh, just, of Wisconsin? I uh, just said Wisconsin. I'm I've right. actually never been to Wisconsin. You believe that? That's cool, though. What's happening in Wisconsin? I'm interested to know. So, this is a really cool trick. This is not a product that we have for sale but it is one of my favorite Tenyo illusions. Tenyo is a company in Japan that makes just some of the most amazing magic tricks, some of the really coolest pocket tricks in the world. So you stick your finger through this thing like this. How's my angle on that, Eric? Good. And then you've got these scissors like this. You can kind of cut through finger like this and it looks like your finger is just completely cut off like the tip of it is somehow just been removed by the scissors isn't that crazy? Such a cool illusion. And then you open this up. Bring this guy back down like this. And my finger is unharmed. I didn't actually cut my finger in half, believe it or not. If you want to learn the secret to that trick, I will teach you. I will give the secret to you. No questions asked. Soon. <laughs> when, uh, how far are we from 30 minute mark? 10 minutes? We got 10 minutes. All right, guys. So in 10 minutes, all of these tricks are going to be revealed. I've got another really good one for you. 
This one actually is available from EvernairTV.com. I'm trying to show uh, as many things from our shop as I can. We have a ton of new products for the holidays. So let your parents know, let your friends know, let your kids know, let your siblings know, let your uncle and aunt know, let your grandparents know. We got new magic. You need, you need to get some, okay? Help us out. And best of all, you get some amazing new tricks that will blow people's mind, you know? That's the, that's the best thing about it. But also, you get to support our channel. How, how great is that? I'm not trying to sell you a, a lame t-shirt that you don't want. It's actually something cool. So, this next one is another zigzag illusion. The zigzag illusion. Everyone knows it. It's a magic classic. You take a woman, chop her into three pieces, put her back together. That's a zigzag trick. This is a scaled down version of it. You take the king of hearts, right? You're going to slide it into this case. You can see it going in on both sides here. Okay. Slide it over like this. You guys can see both sides. King of hearts. Now, boom. Check that out. Split into three separate pieces. The card is clearly cut into three pieces. All right, now watch this. We slide this back over. Okay. Now look very openly here. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Look, you guys can see on all sides. You can show this to the audience as much as you want. Look, you pull the card out. Check this out. Boom. You can hand that out to the audience for examination. There's nothing to find. Truly an astounding trick. And it's all pretty much self-working. Once you know the secret, you realize how simple it is, like most magic tricks. But this one is... Uh, totally self-contained it does all the hard work for you and uh, it's a great little pocket trick that you can carry around it packs flat so it fits very well in a magic case if you have like a little briefcase that you keep all your stuff in um great trick the uh, magic zigzag card also tagged on this live stream if you want to get yourself one okay and i will teach you the secret of how it works at the very end of the video, this will be the last one I teach. So if you want the secret to this one, stick around for the very end. It'll be the last bit of this hour. Do we have any more comments coming in from people? Uh, somebody said you forgot to raise your glasses. Forgot to raise them. Yeah. Uh, to, for the secret, I guess. Uh, and I guess when you asked what's up with Wisconsin, just bad weather. <laughs> that checks out. Dang, are they having the uh, winter already up there? I'm guessing it's already cold. Wow. It's bummer. It's, it feels like summer here. I'm sweating here in Kentucky today. It's uh, almost freaking 80 degrees. It feels like. So what's new, guys? Um, yeah, uh, if you're new, just tuning into the live stream right now, we're doing magic. I just did 10 amazing magic tricks for you all. And now uh, we're going to reveal how they're done. Okay. So we're going to wait for the 30 minute mark, but I feel like uh, we're going to go ahead and get into it. The first trick that I showed you is, drum roll, the magic mouth coil. Okay, It's a little paper coil. These come in packs of 12. We have them available now. I think I have them linked here on the live stream. You guys check that out. Verify for me. So it's a coil like this. You hide this thing in your mouth. I'm gonna give a warning if you're a kid, if you're an adult, person of any age. There's an inherent risk when you put a piece of magic apparatus in your mouth. You obviously, there's choking hazard potential. So uh, just exercise caution, use your head. If you're a kid, get an adult supervision before you perform this trick. The last thing you want to choke on is a mouth coil. It's a very embarrassing trip to the hospital. So use common sense. Uh, Keep it towards the front of your mouth. Don't get it lodged in your throat. Uh, so you take this thing, you put it in the very front of your mouth, right behind your teeth, kind of press it forward with your tongue so you don't risk 
inhaling it back into your throat. And then you want to leave this little part of the paper just barely sticking out behind your lips so you can easily grab it and pull it out. So you take a piece of tissue, a piece of paper towel, something like that, a straw wrapper if you're at a restaurant, that works very well. Or you can just act like you just find something. What is in my food? And you start pulling this thing out. And it's a really crazy visual. It blows people's minds. These are available in packs of 12 from EvanaryTV.com. Uh, great stocking stuffer gift. And uh, really like, just an, if you want like an easy thing, super easy to do that automatically gets people's attention, Magic Mouth Coil. And I think it's 12 feet of stream or something like that. So as you guys can see, as this paper unfurls here, it is like fused together with different color streamers. And you get just this awesome visual effect. Super cool. Oops. Very cool. Fun thing to uh, do it like a kid's party, something like that. Uh, graduation, you know, wedding. So that brings us to our next trip. I also got shout outs from Brazil. Brazil. Uh, and somebody asked if the mouse coils are reusable. They are not reusable. It's a one time use thing. I mean, you can use it to decorate for a party, something like that. You can use it to decorate. You can find different uses for it. You can reuse it, reduce, reuse, recycle. No, you can't reuse it for the trick. Recoiling it back up would be impossible. That's why they come in packs of 12, so that when you use one, it's like a one-time use, then you got 11 more. And, and so then when you run out, you buy more. And someone asked, how do you come up with your tricks? Where do you get your inspiration, and how many of them are original? Some of them are original. Uh, I tend to shout it out if they're original. Um, a lot of them I find just scrolling social media. I also have a lot of old magic books that uh, you guys probably don't care anything about or want to look through. Uh, so a lot of them I find in old books, uh, stuff like that. Um, a lot of the tricks are things that we do have for sale in the shop, uh, you know, like this. So a lot of them are stuff that I did not invent. Um, but there are videos on the channel that are just nothing but tricks I invented. You can search for that uh, if you want to. Um, it's really hard to invent your own magic tricks. So I have a ton of respect for people who do create tricks and I try not to reveal anything that's gonna step on anybody's toes that they have for sale. Um, so that being said, long answer. Some, uh, some of them we invent ourselves, uh, some of them we um, you know, we're recycling stuff that's been uh, published in old magic book 50 years ago and taking that principle and kind of applying it to something else is a good way to create kind of a new effect. Instead of doing it with cards, you do it with money. Um, that leads us to the magic vanishing crayons. Super easy. The crayons look like they just instantly vanish from the case. You can even make them reappear. So, very simple here. I'll even take this apart and show you guys exactly what's going on. It comes with the crayon box, and it also comes with this little gimmick right here, okay? Little magic crayons, half a crayon. So these are actually plastic. They're not real crayons, so it'll last you literally forever. Might outlive us all. Close up the box, show them off. You could even, if you don't particularly like this box that it comes with, you can get like a regular Crayola box that has a window in it. But I don't even think the Crayola boxes have a window in them anymore. I think that's the issue. You kind of have to like cut a window in the Crayola box. Um, but you know, do what you want. Show the pack of crayons. And all you have to do is release the pressure with your fingers right here. I'm just holding those in place. When I release, they just slide down into the box like that and they're hidden kind of down inside below the visible uh, window there. So you cover it with your hand for some misdirection. The crayons vanish. Again, this is a perfect thing to pair with our magic coloring book trick. You grab the color from the crayons, you throw it into the coloring book and watch the jaws drop. Super cool. 
stay tuned for the end of the video if you want to win some magic crayons. I'm going to be picking some comments from the comments section. And I'll be sending you some free magic appearing on your doorstep. Alrighty. Next up, I'm about to reveal the secret to the magic arm chopper. So some magicians might get mad at me for this one, but that's the nature of the beast. You want to make an omelet? You got to break some eggs. So this is a really simple thing, but it does really, uh, really fool people. Um, on the back of the blade here, back of the handle, you can see there's a little knob kind of thing right here. See that? If we slide this up, you can see the blade retracts into the handle like this. So when it's down, it is totally hidden behind the apparatus, and you cannot see that that blade has slid back. You can even still see it through the hole right there. That's because it's just right there. So your hand can go through, the spectator's arm can go through, you can put uh, whatever you want through there, whatever you want to cut, anything you want to cut. Slide this back. Make sure it's slid back because it will really hurt if you don't. Slide this thing down, it looks like it chops through the arm, then simply slide your hand out. Then you want to make sure you slide the blade back into position before you raise it back up, or you will expose the secret to the audience. Okay? The Magic Arm Chopper is available now at EvanerraTV.com. It's a great tabletop illusion. It's a really cool thing to just have like in your magic studio space, in your magic room, in your house, wherever you keep all your hobby stuff. You know, I uh, don't know what your setup is, but this is a really cool addition. It's just a cool kind of conversation piece. Um, and it's a great thing to show people. It's it's cool to have some of that big magic apparatus. Like, I love close-up stuff. But it's cool to have something like this that kind of, it draws people in. And they're like, what is this thing, you know? And then you, you show them, like, oh, it's a magic arm chopper. And it's very intimidating looking when you tell them to go ahead, stick your hand through there. You know, like, uh, no, you convince them to do it. And, you know, it's just, it's a great thing to uh, show someone, uh, especially when you're showing the magic for the first time. This is a real, real uh, showstopper, so to speak. So the Magic Arm Chopper available now, uh, hundreds of millions of views, if not billions of views online with this, this guy right here. So check it out in the shop. And if you want to win one, stay tuned for the end. I'm going to be giving away some of the tricks in this video to comments in the comments section you guys let me know which ones you want me to give away most i would assume this is probably a big winner this is a the high dollar illusion here and it's just really cool magic arm shop available now so next up i'm going to reveal to you the magic disappearing water trick so this one has so many different applications I really can't even fit it all into an hour live stream we could do a whole hour live stream just on this right here this is called magic slush powder super cool so wait sorry, somebody in the comments uh, called it out guest this or they said he's gonna show slush powder next and that was after the nice trick nice. so yeah like it I like it so slush powder that's correct you guys can see uh, in this cup, I don't know if the camera can really pick it up, but uh, there's slush, kind of a gel. And that is where the water went. So this cup is empty and normal. When you pour water into this cup, nothing fancy there. But when you're pouring it into the other cup, that slush powder is going to absorb the water. So this is basically uh, the stuff that is inside, like diapers. You guys can see it's absorbing that water already. It's basically the gel that's inside diapers. And now it has absorbed that water that we just poured in it. So it will absorb a tremendous amount of water. You just put a little bit of this powder in the bottom of a cup. Uh, I did a really good trick with Megan uh, with 
the same concept where we hold the cups above our head and spin around and I go to dump it on my head, she goes to dump it on her head and it's disappeared. There's so many different applications with this. Literally, anytime you wanna make a liquid vanish, slush powder is the way to do it. Um, but there's also like a ton of different tricks you could do with it, like making a liquid appear as though it, uh, you know, teleports from one cup to another. It disappears from here and then it ends up over here in this cup with duplicate liquid. Just endless possibilities with slush powder. Uh, it will turn any liquid into solid. Um, and the packaging here says faster, firmer, and more consistent. So there you go. Slush powder. And you might be wondering, Evan, where will we ever get slush powder? Guess what? It's available now at EvanRTV.com. You're welcome. Yeah, I said that's how they found out because they looked in the shop. And that's, that's, how, that's, I love it. that's how they guess. Yes. Uh, a lot of guess that it was sponge. A lot of, a lot of products uh, tagged in the, um, in the video kind of tip the method to a lot of these tricks. So that's the way it is. Yeah. Also, dice is getting, people like the dice. Yes, we haven't gotten to the dice yet. We'll get into the dice. Let's see. Oh, so a long-term uh, viewer saying you did use it. It used to be a sponge before slush powder came in. That's true. Yeah. That's absolutely true. Uh, back in my old condo, I remember stuffing some sponges down the bottom of like a red plastic cup. And uh, yeah, that's how that trick used to be done before we had slush powder. Now we're living in the 21st century, people. <clears throat> Good memory though. Yeah, if you don't have any slush powder and you want a DIY version of that trick, take some, you know, kitchen dish sponges, shove them down in the bottom of a cup. It's also a great thing to do with uh, ice. You can throw some ice down on top of the sponges, pour the water in, water instantly turns into ice. That's a really good DIY trick. So there's a bonus trick for you right there. Thanks for the comment section. Who said that, do you know? Uh the, that it used to be a yeah. sponge, Car Guy 23. Car Guy 23, shout out to Car Guy 23. What's our clock on this video so far, guys? 37 minutes. 37 minutes? Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So, next up on our list. Oh, yes. <laughs> At, wow, okay. Here's someone, I still remember the story of when the appearing cane almost put a hole in your TV. Yeah, the death cane, that's yeah. what we call it around here. Um, yeah, yeah, that was a fun one. That yeah, was, you uh, be careful with that. Yeah, uh, another one, those were the good days, or the good old days. <laughs> those were the good old days. Just being dangerous with the new tricks. Absolutely. Just... I wasn't even on purpose. It just sprung out of my hand, shot across the, I think it, it actually hit my TV and then my computer. Yeah. Like the way my condo was set up at the time. It ricocheted off of the TV screen, which I had just gotten, like a brand new, like 65 inch curved TV, brand new YouTube money. Bounces off the screen of that and then like right into the only computer I had to edit video at the time. It was trying to just destroy my entire life, um, but it didn't succeed, you know. The magic hanky trick. This is uh, another fan favorite. Um, we have sold this this magic trick to probably a hundred countries around the world, something like that, something crazy. Uh, one of the first tricks we ever had in the shop is this guy right here. You stuff the silk scarf down into your hand like this, okay? And then it disappears. Simple. It is the magic thumb tip. Everybody knows that. Everybody loves it. We also sell mag magic silk scarves. I think we have red and white. I don't know where I got this purple one. Anyway, uh, this trick is probably more versatile than slush powder even. Um, probably a thousand different magic effects that you can do with just a thumb tip. What is that dinging? Can we turn that off? Sorry, guys. Um, so, <clears throat> this guy right here. It's a plastic fake thumb. If you've never seen one of these before, you're probably really new to magic. It's one of the first tricks that most people learn, one of the first gimmicks that most people get. If you don't have one, you should have one. Every magician should. Uh, we have adult sizes and kid sizes available. Um, I think this is 
probably the first magic prop I ever owned. A friend's dad gave one to me um, after blowing my mind with it. Yeah, uh, when you see a thumb tip performance and you know how it's done, it's not impressive, right? But when you see someone vanish something with a thumb tip and you don't know the secret to it, it is one of the most mind-blowing tricks because it's just someone's bare hands. And the thing that you just saw them put in their hands is just inexplicably gone. It really is... I remember that feeling of seeing this trick performed for the first time. And it, it just, to this day, sticks with me of how just befuddled I was of where did the handkerchief just go. I just saw you put it like you didn't have any sleeves. Uh, so it just, it still sticks with me how impactful a good vanish with a thumb tip can be. So don't underestimate the power of a simple trick. A lot of times as magicians, we tend to think that we need to overcomplicate things in order to impress an audience or to elicit an, a reaction from an audience. But keeping it simple of... I saw him put this thing into his hand. He stuffed it in there. We all like held on to his wrist so there was no way he could possibly do any funny business. And then the thing was just gone. It just, so I don't know where it went. I, I literally have no idea. Like that simplicity, making it an easy story for them to recant in their mind, really helps to kind of create an impactful and memorable performance versus doing a card trick that has like 10 different steps. It kind of becomes a little convoluted in their memory and hard to kind of grasp what's going on. So I like to keep it simple. A thumb tip is about as simple as you can make a performance. So uh, pick one up today, adult and kid sizes. You can also get a magic silk scarf. Parents, kids, makes a great stocking stuffer for the holidays. It should be everybody's first trick. This should be in everyone's arsenal. Uh, every magician in the world probably owns one of these. So if you don't get on board and uh, if you don't have money to buy one, stay tuned for the end of the video. I'm going to give you one for free. Just leave a comment, put a like on the video, and you might win. Magic thumb tip, okay? And the silk scarf. I'll hook you up, okay? So. Uh, Mason Quinnett wanted to just say thank you. You got him started in magic. That's and awesome. Heck yeah. It's really been a lot. Also, it is uh, Jumpin' Joe 101's birthday. Hey, happy birthday, Jumpin' Joe 101. And Mason, that's awesome. That makes my day. Uh, my dad got me started in magic, and uh, I'm forever grateful for that because it changed my life forever. Uh, so the fact that I could introduce you to the art and get you started in it really means the world to me. A little fly in here. Sorry about that. Um, that's awesome, man. Keep it up. Keep practicing, keep doing your thing, you know? Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. So, our last trick to reveal here, I'm pretty uh, sure. No, 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 no. I got two more. Two more. Two more. Two more shop products. And then I'll reveal one that I probably shouldn't reveal. It's going to make some magicians angry, but it's kind of my MO, I guess. You know, so this one uh, we did at the top of the show. It's a very fun illusion. Here we go. This is the balls to dice trick. You have a white ball and a red ball. You take them, hold them together, squeeze them, and they magically fuse into a big foam dice. Very cool. The secret is much more simple than you might think. It's completely self-contained. Right here on the back of the dice is a hole. You might be wondering, why is there a hole there? It's because this dice actually turns into the ball when you flip it inside out. Boom. So you have the white ball, which is actually the dice. You have the red ball here. You just put the red ball on the front of the dice like this. Push 
and the white ball inverts and kind of swallows the red ball and envelops it inside the dice, just like that. Almost self-working. All you have to do is kind of press them together and give them a squeeze as you move it around. And it looks like you just fused red and white into dice. Very cool. This is actually the top seller of our new releases in the shop. We released 10 new tricks last month. Uh, if you guys didn't get the email about it, you can sign up on our website at evanairtv.com for our newsletter and our email list. You'll get all the new product release uh, updates and announcements uh, on our mailing list. Go to evanairtv.com, scroll down to the bottom, you can input your email address and sign up. Also, I think anytime you place an order on the site on evanairtv.com or from our YouTube shop here, you have the option to join the mailing list. You get exclusive discounts. The early Black Friday sale is going on right now for anyone who signed up for the mailing list. You got a uh, email about that today that has a discount code where you can take 20% off of your entire order. So check that out. Yes. No? Okay. So check that out uh, at evanairtv.com and sign up for the mailing list and you'll get all the new product updates about stuff like this. This is our top seller, the ball and dice. So get them while they're hot. Uh, I think we still have some left in stock, but they're going quick. And uh, once we sell out, it might be a while before we get a restock of them. So if you want to get a Magic Ball and Dice, it makes a perfect gift for the holidays, red and white. Uh, someone did ask, uh, you've done the uh, Cut Lady in Half trick, which you have with half, yeah. Yeah. So video. We did. We did Cut a Lady in Half. I did like a DIY version of Cutting a Woman in Half with... Uh, with Veronica and some cardboard boxes, but I really do have plans to do like a proper 10 classic stage magic tricks revealed video where we do like the woman cut in half illusion. Um, you know, the zigzag woman illusion. You know, some of those classic stage tricks that everyone knows that uh, I think would really be appreciated by our audience. So if you guys would like to see that, let me know. Uh, I've had that video written for a long time, just, um, you know, getting a hold of those big stage props, uh, you know, is kind of difficult. Um, these big illusions like this tend to cost a lot of money. Like this thing, not that big, um, but you know, this is 50, 60 bucks right here. Um, you know, something of that size costs hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. And it's a lot of uh, upfront investment to put into a video. So I'm going to make that happen eventually. Uh, so keep an eye out for that video. But yeah, I do have plans to do like a full scale, here's how to cut a woman in half, you know, kind of masked magician, which is a really dated reference that most of you guys probably don't get. But um, yeah, yes, short answer, yes. Uh, we have done that, but I intend to do a more kind of fleshed out, stage version of that trick uh, at some point in the future. Another question came in. What's your favorite trick you've ever done? Favorite trick I've ever done? Um, it's really hard to say because we have done thousands of tricks at this point. Um, my favorite trick is the next one the lamest answer ever uh <clears throat> no i really don't know um it's like asking you to like asking an artist to like pick their favorite painting or something it's a very difficult because they're all great i'd say one that comes to mind that i used to do a lot is the ambitious card routine kind of used to be my go-to walk around magic trick when i was doing parties and uh busking and stuff like that on the street um it's just a great interactive trick it gets the audience involved um, if you don't know the ambitious card routine, I think it's the first episode of How to Magic I ever uploaded is just an explanation of the ambitious card. I go and perform the trick for um, a lady in the mall here in Louisville, and then I teach out some. So if you'd like to learn my favorite card trick, go check it out. It says my favorite card trick is the ambitious card. Any more questions? Any uh, uh, comments? When did you... Uh first start magic when i first start yeah. when i was seven years old yeah about six seven years old my dad taught me kind of my first magic tricks around the dinner table uh, you know we'd go out to dinner and 
while you're waiting for the food, you do a couple little things and, you know, uh, really just captivated me at a young age. And then he took me to see Lance Burton perform in Louisville. Uh, my dad actually worked with Lance's father at a hardware store in town and he got his tickets and uh, it was really cool. And that really kind of sparked my interest and hooked me in from an early age. So shout out to Lance Burton. Okay, second to last trick. Third to last trick. See the finger? Choppy, 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 choppy. And now, boom. The finger appears to be chopped in half. And that is still really my finger there. This one uh, might make a few magicians mad that I'm revealing it. But a lot of you guys might be able to guess how this is done as well. Anybody guess how this is done? Be interested to know if anyone can figure this one out without me telling you. You see the finger. Then you slide this back down. Boom. Finger's fine. What do you guys think? Anybody guess this? I'm going to teach you regardless. I'm just curious if anybody uh, has a big brain. Anybody get it? A uh, mirror? Bingo. <laughs> yes, it's a mirror. So there's a mirror kind of on the back wall of this thing. Right about there. That is reflecting this surface in front, uh, kind of on the floor of it. So it looks like you're seeing the entire box. You're actually only seeing the front half of it. The back half is concealing this. You can see my finger is running up the back of it right there. Totally unharmed by the scissors blade. And then when you pull this thing up, it really creates a convincing illusion that the finger is like cut in half and floating above. But you flip it around, now you guys can see exactly how it works. Very cool trick. Super easy to do. That is a Tenyo product. I could actually get that available in the shop if you guys like it. Uh, there's some of Bahugola. Bahugola. Bahugola is really wants you to know that uh, she loves your videos. Her and her sister have been watching, or their sister, been watching for six years. And oh, wow. love the content and keep it up. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it, guys. We do what we can. Yeah. Seriously uh, appreciate the support. Uh, Mr. Programmer Son. Also, you're the first person to teach him magic. Awesome. And he'd like to know who's the your favorite person to show tricks in the videos, like the ones that we oh, do around yeah. here and on set. Um... My favorite person to show tricks to would be Ava, but I feel like I kind of ruined magic for her as a kid because uh, she would see all the tricks I would perform in the video and then she would also be there for the explanations. Um, but Ava's still my, my favorite person to perform magic for, especially when I can still fool her with something. I know if I fool her with it and she's genuinely stumped by it and amazed by it, then it's probably pretty good. Because uh, she has seen the secrets to so many tricks at this point. Um, she's like a viewer of this show. It, you know, when you guys see uh, magic now, because you've watched the show, you have a kind of a rough idea of how things work. Uh, so you're not really as, um, as amazed by tricks as you used to be, maybe. Um, so when you see something that really fools you, that's the best. Uh, so when I can create that moment with Ava... That's probably my favorite person to perform for. But I love performing for everybody. Uh, my second on that list would just be random people on the street. When you get somebody who just doesn't see magic every day, and you can breathe a little bit of, uh, you know, just coolness into their life, uh, that's going to be the thing they go home and talk about at dinner that day. That's going to be the thing they talk about at the water cooler uh, at work, you know, for the week. Is, yeah, this guy came up with me on the street with this crazy magic trick. It's out of the ordinary. It's not something that people uh, experience in their everyday life. 
So anytime I can create that experience, I love doing street magic for a stranger. Um, Cause you know, when you do it for your family and your friends, they know you do magic, they've seen you do tricks before, they kind of know what to expect, that it's going to be something impossible. But when you can do it for somebody who doesn't normally get that, and you pull off a really amazing trick, that's, that's the sweet stuff. You know, I love that. So, great question. Yeah, somebody in, chiming in from Zambia. Zambia. Cool, yeah. man. Uh, also, someone wants to know about how you find the games or come up with games for the shorts. Like yeah. the competitions. That's our secret. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we spend a lot of time sitting around thinking up silly game ideas. I, I purchase uh, quite a few silly games on Amazon and stuff. Um, yeah, we, same way I find magic tricks. Um, a lot of these things are like family games that people would play back in my childhood. Uh, stuff that, you know, just hasn't been around in the, um, you know, in the zeitgeist uh, of culture for the last 10 years, 20 years, but I remember from growing up in the 80s and 90s. So a lot of them are that kind of stuff uh, that we're kind of just bringing back. Um, we draw ideas from other creators that I love. Uh, who's the Australian guys? Oh, uh, Woody and Kleine. Woody and Kleine are great. Pull some ideas from them sometimes. Um, yeah, uh, there's a, a number of creators that inspire me that we, um, that we pull inspiration from. For the games and challenges but a lot of them are uh, are just cooked up in our own demented minds so i hope you're enjoying them we're shooting more tomorrow for the holidays so there'll be some cool new holiday challenges and uh that stuff coming over the next week uh to dar tomorrow will be a fun shoot day for uh revenue tv uh chaplain andrew kuslick is trying out for fool us and wonders if you have any tips mm. That's awesome. Congratulations just on trying out. That's fantastic. That takes a lot of courage. Um, my friend Jabrizi uh, actually fooled Penn and Teller. And uh, he would probably be better to ask for tips than me. Because uh, I don't have experience actually being on the show. Um, I would say my best advice would be confidence. Like be confident on stage. Be comfortable. But uh, try to bring something unique, something original. You know, they are goats of magic and have been in the game for so long. They know pretty much every produced trick that's for sale. So you either need to take some kind of concept for a trick and apply it to something else. Kind of like I was talking about, we'll take some old concept from a book and apply it to something new and tinker with it a bit. You need to do some tinkering. Figure out what are the couple tricks, the few things that you have that you feel like are truly originally yours that you've come up with or that you've put your own spin on. That would be my best advice if you're gonna audition for AGT or Fool Us or any of the big TV uh, time publications like that, uh, shows, you, you really wanna come with something original to you, which is not to say that you can't take something like a thumb tip, uh, my friend uh, Sly Dini uh, did his entire AGT routine with a thumb tip, and it was fantastic. Uh, so, you know, it's really, it's not the trick so much as it is your performance. I guess that's a really good tip as well. That kind of just came out. Um, yeah, find original stuff that's, you know, some. it doesn't even have to be the trick being original, but your presentation needs to be original. I guess that would be my best advice. But that's, I feel like that kind of more applies to AGT. When you're doing something like Fool Us for, for Penn and Teller, you really need to kind of figure out what is something that has the potential to fool them. Because uh, Teller is a, a magic historian. He has literally, literally seen thousands and thousands of magic tricks and methods. So genuinely hard to fool those guys. So uh, really rack your brain of like, what is something that they might have not thought about or haven't seen yet. You know, that's my best advice. I wish you the, the best of luck with that. Um, and shoot me an email if there's any other way I can help, man. 
So this is the magic drink trick. You guys have probably seen this revealed because our video kind of revealed how it was done. Behind the curtain, I'm gonna do the whole thing without the silk scarf. So I hold it up like this. I simply rotate the drink. That's the first color change, right? The second color change, as the scarf goes over, I'm picking up this little plastic insert and I'm sliding it behind the other one. That's the third color change, or second color change. It's the second color change. The third one, curtain goes over, twist it again. That's the third. And now the fourth, you simply lift the whole thing out. You got two of them here. So you lift both these things out. You set those aside with the uh, with the silk scarf, and then it turns into water. It's that easy. Super fun trick. And this one has racked up millions of views online as well. If this is one you'd like to win, let me know. Leave it in the comments what your favorite trick in this video is. We're going to be doing the giveaway here in just a second. I'm going to be picking random comments from the comments section. And mailing out the magic to you. Making it magically appear on your doorstep. For free. Can't beat that. Let me know which trick was your favorite in the video. We have one more trick to reveal. The zigzag card. Coming up on an hour of live magic. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for supporting our channel. Over 100 million views and 100,000 new viewers, new subscribers in the past month, past 28 days. Record-breaking numbers here on YouTube. Thank you for all the support. Uh, also, follow us on Facebook, YouTube's biggest rival, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat. Twitter, now known as X. We're on all of them. Uh, now, for the coup de gras, what you've all been waiting for, the magic zigzag card. You split it into three pieces. They can see it on all sides. You push it back over. You slide it back. The audience can inspect it. Super amazing and easy. Okay, Eric's just showing me we didn't reveal the zigzag rope either. I think most of you guys know this trick. The magic is all found in the apparatus itself. The little zigzag rope trick has an extra piece of rope built into it. Super easy to do. Also available and tagged on this video. Same with the zigzag card. This is a self-contained apparatus, as I mentioned earlier. All you have to do is slide the card in, slide it over, and it does all the work for you okay it's like a big stage illusion scaled down in pocket size so the card is contained inside here let me show you you slide this over there's actually like a half of a card right here you can see that is already in the case see that that is the secret to the Magic Zigzag card. It comes with full instructions that will walk you through your new illusion. Head over to EvaneraTV.com if you want to win one. Leave me a comment in the comment section here if you want to win one for free. Sorry, head over to EvaneraTV.com if you want to buy one. Leave one in the comment section if you want one for free. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be going through once the live ends. I'm going to pick uh, a couple random comments and we're going to mail out the magic to you. I will send you a message here on YouTube asking for your full mailing address uh, being sent to our email, uh, evanairtv.shop at gmail.com. Thank you guys so much for the support on this live stream. We will be doing another live stream next month in December and another one in January. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for tuning in as always. Thank you for your support, evanairtv.com. And all the products that you saw in this video are linked on the uh, live stream. You can get them from our YouTube shop. We ship worldwide. Anywhere you are in the world, you can get some magic magically appearing on your doorstep. Thank you guys for watching. Remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive. 
work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.